Hello, my name is Susan Taylor, and I am the principal of Jordan High School. This presentation is designed to explain how our hybrid in-person and virtual learning model will work. Our hybrid learning model begins on April 8th. We will review what the hybrid learning model is, introduce the expectations of in-person learners, and review the expectations of virtual learners under the hybrid learning model. We will introduce our new bell schedule and lunch schedule, as well as explain how the cohorts work and review our new calendar. Starting on April 8th, some students will begin to receive in-person instruction, while other students will remain 100% virtual. In-person students will be assigned a cohort and will attend school in two-day cohorts on a six-day rotation. On their off cohort days, in-person students will participate in their teacher synchronous sessions. Students who have an IEP or a 504 also have the option to attend school four days a week. Students who are 100% virtual will participate in synchronous sessions on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. All students have the option to participate in Wellness Wednesday activities asynchronously every Wednesday or to simply use Wednesday as an independent workday. No assignments will be due on Wednesdays. The main priorities in transitioning to the hybrid learning model are providing a safe teaching and learning environment and supporting students and teachers. Critical to ensuring the success of these priorities is the communication of clear expectations and a commitment from our school community to meet or exceed these expectations. Before you arrive on campus each day, complete the daily symptom screener. This is sent to your Durham Public Schools email address every morning, and it can also be found on our Jordan High School website. Also, have parents and guardians complete a bus attestation form and be sure to give the form to the bus driver the first day you ride the school bus. We're going to take a moment to talk about expectations for when you arrive on campus each day. So each day you come to school, you will have to show your green check mark from your daily symptom screener and you will get your temperature checked. If you are a car rider, this will be done at the traffic circle at the rear of the school. Bus riders will do this as they exit their bus and student drivers and walkers will do this either at the rear of the school or at the front of the school. After you complete your screening process, you will report directly to your first period class or to the cafeteria if you're eating breakfast. You will wear a mask at all times that you're on campus. Gators and bandanas are not allowed. If you need a mask, one will be provided. You will use hand sanitizer during the morning check-in process, and you will use hand sanitizer when leaving each class period. You will also practice social distancing of six feet or more at all times. Let's take a minute and talk about expectations for the rest of your day on campus. If you need to use the restroom, you will do this during class or flex time. Restrooms will not be available during transitions. You will disinfect your desk during the designated time, which is the last five minutes of flex time. You will eat lunch in the cafeteria or the courtyard at designated seating areas. Your mask should only be removed while eating or drinking. There will be no off-campus lunch privileges for the remainder of this school year. You will follow the new bell schedule and you will join your teacher's synchronous sessions on your off cohort days. In-person learners should bring their charge school issue device daily. If you do not have a school issue Chromebook, it is not too late to pick up a school issue Chromebook before April 8th. Please email our librarians at 365-GRP-JHS-TECHNOLOGY-HELP at dpsnc.net. Our team will not be able to support personal devices, so each in-person learner must use a school-issued device. In-person learners are also reminded to bring their headsets daily. 
Under our hybrid learning model, our virtual learners are expected to follow the new bell schedule, attend synchronous sessions on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, share video in Zoom if able, take lunch based on the new bell schedule, use Wellness Wednesday as an asynchronous day or participate in optional wellness activities, and seek assistance from teachers during flex time. Now we will go over the JHS hybrid learning bell schedule. First, it is important to note that the hybrid learning schedule retains the instructional class time and flex time of the previous virtual learning schedule. You will note that each period still includes a 60 minute instructional time and a 30 minute flex time. The use of flex time will continue to be driven by the needs of each individual student, with in-person students remaining with their respective teacher during that time. The primary differences in the hybrid learning bell schedule and the virtual learning schedule are the start times for each period, the facilitation of three lunches that help keep the number of students in the cafeteria low, and the inclusion of Friday as a synchronous learning day. For lunches, students both in-person and virtual or off cohort will take lunch with the respective class that they have for period three as indicated at the bottom of the schedule. In-person cohorts will rotate every two days, not including Wellness Wednesday. Also note that on our bell schedule, we refer to the cohorts as one, two, and three rather than A, B, and C to try to limit confusion with our A, B year-long classes that alternate each day. Now, let's look at how the in-person cohort rotation schedule works, including how to navigate the alternating AB year-long classes. First, remember that Monday, April 5th through Wednesday, April 7th are asynchronous days. No synchronous classes will be held with teachers on those days. In-person students begin on campus on Thursday, April 8th. The cohort rotation will begin with cohort two. The AB year-long schedule will remain consistent for each two-day cohort with an A day followed by a B day. Students learning virtually, including off-cohort students, will follow the same schedule. Wellness Wednesday attendance for AB year-long classes will alternate each week. For daily reference, this schedule will be posted on the Jordan website in two-week increments for the duration of the hybrid learning period to help students track what day they need to be where in person and online. Remember, the hybrid learning model begins on April 8th. April 8th is an A day. In-person learning will begin on April 8th for students assigned to cohort two. The bell schedule changed to accommodate both virtual and in-person learners. The schedule mimics the traditional in-person schedule and our current virtual learning schedule. Since our teachers are teaching both the virtual and in-person learners, the majority of our students will not experience schedule changes. In-person students have been assigned to cohorts alphabetically, with cohort one including students with the last names starting A through FA, cohort two FE through NA, and cohort three ND through Z. Any students who are shifted to keep their household in the same cohort will receive direct communication from the school. Students' personal devices will not be allowed or supported for in-person learners. In-person learners must use a school-issued device. Email 365grp-jhstechnologyhelp at dpsnc.net if you need a device. Student drivers may drive to school if they have submitted the appropriate paperwork and have received a JHS parking permit. Please note the upcoming dates as we approach the start of the hybrid learning plan. Spring break is March 29th through April 2nd. April 5th, 6th, and 7th are asynchronous days. A scheduled walkthrough for freshmen and students new to Jordan will occur on April 6th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. The first day of Plan B and the new bell schedule will be April 8th. 
April 8th is an A day. Finally, remember that we will begin Plan B with Cohort 2 on April 8th and 9th, followed by Cohort 3 on April 12th and 13th, and then Cohort 1 on April 15th and 16th. We want to thank our PTSA and our school community for the support they provided in helping us to prepare for our transition to the hybrid learning model. Our goal is to ensure that all students graduate on time and with options. We are thankful for a school community who supports this goal. For additional information about upcoming activities or about Jordan, please be sure to follow our social media and visit our website.